over here at the left side of Dual Sight in the green, verdant, tree filled hills. Marine King Prime Wing! Is Marine King. King of Marines himself. Can he get himself back into Codas? It's looking rough for him so far. It really is. And over here in the evil, burning, lava filled side where no life can live is. Started! Trickster! Startail Trickster. Startail Trickster, formerly TSL Trickster. Did you know that he left TSL? I did know that. Oh, okay. Is that old news now? Um, you know, I, I am really curious about the uh, the Violet story, though, so you guys should tweet it at FXO Wolf and at Moltrap and uh, things like that. Because I saw an article yeah, about been... it, but then I, I dispelled it as rumors because it, it was some. There was some sort of edit on the article I was reading that was like, oh, well, this isn't actually true or isn't necessarily true, so I don't know. Um, really, the story behind this, so I'm kind of curious. It's really, it's really important for, you know, not just me, but of course, everyone to really try to follow the scene as much as they can and be up to date on this stuff. So I want to know. Yeah. It's important, man. It's important yeah, to stay up to date on that. A couple people, like, tweeted at me and they're like, yeah, he left MVP, but I haven't gotten the whole story on it yet. Well, interestingly, Trickster made a pylon near the third base location of uh, Marine King. Very quickly, like his second pylon was over there hidden. He may decide to hide some gateways over there and do a four gate because Marine King is extremely well known for doing one barracks expansion. In this case, that's not going to be what's happening and there's one gateway being hidden. He may just try to do something that uh, a lot of Protosses do actually, where they chrono boost their stalker out of a forward gateway. Um, I was mm. actually doing that on the PTR when they changed the stalker build time. I called it the Wolf Gate, <laughs> but it, it never became popular because this change was reverted. But <laughs> Trickster's doing the Wolf Gate, man. Wolf Gate. That sounds like some scandal. <laughs> the Wolf Gate. Sta the scandal. Wolf Gate scandal. I don't know. It's just. It's kind of funny. That yeah, I'm the reason why, guys. Like the, the Watergate Hotel was called Watergate. That's why it was the Watergate scandal. It's not like gate means scandal, but everyone started calling everything like something gate whenever there was a scandal. Well, I'm the reason why, guys, that uh, the change was reverted. The <laughs> so that's the scandal. That's the scandal. <laughs> the Wolfgate scandal. The Wolfgate was just too strong. And, uh, yeah, he is currently boosting out that stalker, and he's got another stalker from his main as well. He just could put some pressure on here with, like, a few stalkers. Yeah, and Rinking made a Rinking... reactor, so he's, you know, he's lost a lot of production time. He's not going to have very many units, and not making a bunker yet, but I think with that oh. positioning on that SCV, yep. no, he's actually just making a third Whoa. depot. It's going to be pretty difficult to hold. Yeah, this could actually just, uh, this could be pretty effective. He's going to send the Zelda in first to tank damage, and those stalkers will be able to kill those Marines pretty quickly. Here Two they of come. them there. And there he goes, sending him in. And this wall up can actually hurt Marine King, but Trickster not micro very well. There he goes. Because the Marines, of course, don't have the same range as the Stalkers. And he's just going to target down all the Marines. The Hellions are out as well. He needs to be careful of those Stalkers. Nice control by Trickster. Wow, it was really good control. Oh, nice. Marine King, though, lowering the depot so he can target down the injured Stalkers and kill them off. And this Pressure is doing depot. so much damage, and he's going to lose one of these depots. He's going to lose the Hellion as well. And suddenly, Marine King is actually in so much trouble as Trickster continues to rally units from his gateways. He's just going to pressure and kill with Stalkers. And talking, we talked about Brood War a little bit earlier. This is actually looking like a StarCraft 1 game. Yeah, too, man. man. It's like a StarCraft game where <laughs> the Terran was uh, just didn't get their tanks out quick enough and just died to Dragoons somehow, but, um... Yeah, imagine if Stalkers had a range of three, that would be pretty sick. <laughs> well, the medevac is out. That medevac is going to help heal the SCVs that are keeping Marine King alive here, essentially. That's actually kind of funny. That, and th it's actually kind of bad that... Well, it doesn't actually matter, but anyway, hold that thought. Stalkers nope. going in for another prod. Trickster has warp gate research done. Now he's adding two more gates. So he's actually just going to follow this up with a four gate timing attack. But I don't know if it's even going to go that long as the pylon gets no. closer here. And Marine King is starting to fall. Depots. Not actually microing his stalkers as well as I would have liked to see. He should just be targeting down these SCVs. There he goes. Better back low on energy. He's starting to get low yeah. on health as well here. Pylon's going to finish. He's going to warp in more Stalkers, and pretty soon those two gates in his main are going to finish, and Marine King is going to be about dead. And remember, guys, if you're a Marine King fan, losing this game means it's almost impossible for him to actually stay or uh, advance back to Code S. Yeah. 
And that would be such a tragic story as well, given the fact he actually got all the way up through the Code A into the finals of Code A. Here he's in up and down matches, couldn't win the finals to get that Code S spot. Here he is, and the Depots finally go up, but Marine King losing so many units. Here's the thing, even if he repels this, he's got no SCVs, 12 SCVs in the bank, and he actually lets him in. The Depot falls, Stalkers are in the main, the last few forces of Marine King desperately being microed, but I don't think it's quite going to be enough as more Stalkers come up that ramp. Yeah, this is actually the fall of Marine King. You guys are witnessing it right now. And as these Marines die, we're probably going to see a GG here pretty soon. And Marine King could not be happy. This is a very unique build. I've actually by already, I've actually already marked it down on the scorecard. I'm using to keep score of things, man. Marine That's King has lost his game. Is, man. <laughs> 14 Viking supply to 49. Here. There's just nothing you can do. Yeah, landed Viking isn't going to help. The Hellion doing some AoE damage to two Stalkers, <laughs> trying to do his best. The Stalkers fall, but Green King and falls three, with them. Two. I've been a little bit early on those lately. On my count, DG countdowns. But uh, yeah, Trickster taking a game off NKP is now at 1-1. One and one. So Trickster, remember, one of those players needed that to keep themselves in the running. And so Trickster is now still in the running if he can beat uh, his next couple opponents as well. He can still clinch a spot. I like that. MKP the Wolfgate, is crushed, man. man. The Wolfgate is the thing. You can do it sometimes. And if you chrono boost those stalkers out, if your opponent doesn't make a bunker, he doesn't, or he doesn't have Marauders, one of the two, man. That uh, that can just end the game. Uh, yeah, and we watched it happen. We just watched what happens when you tech against the Wolfgate. It's the Wolfgate. It's powerful. <laughs> it's like now the name of that build. <laughs> the, I, I'm just gonna throw it out there that it's a little appropriate that the build named after you is a cheese build. Just gonna say that. <laughs> I do do a lot of all-ins on the ladder. Watch out for a little, me. A little cheesy on the ladder. <laughs> no. Um, I have I've only lost out of about. 15 games recently. I did never really void rail in before um, until recently, and out of about 15 games where I tried it, I only lost one. <laughs> I've only lost wow. one time. And, and this the guy is, actually this messaged like, me after, and he was like, I knew you were going to cheese me, and I was like, all right. Well, I didn't <laughs> do anything about it then. Like, I don't know. Well, he actually was the guy who held it, and he was just like, oh, well, okay. I just knew. And I was like, why? And he goes, you know, you well, know, you saved your chrono. I was like, well, everyone chronos their first stalker and their warp gate research. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to take a five-minute break before we talk more about that. We'll see you guys in a few. Tasia versus JYP, I think, is the next battle to see who can be out 2-0. We'll see you in a minute. Till I'm gone, till I'm gone.